This is not what I ordered. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to an impromptu unboxing. Wasn't gonna do an unboxing video today. I was thinking about doing the top 10, but I got this in the mail from Amazon. It's in their one of their really weird looking shipper boxes that they send out. Don't, don't really know why we get this. Sometimes we get this, sometimes we get something else. But uh, this was supposed to be a Star Wars The Black Series Ponda Baba figure. Let me show you what's actually in here. It doesn't look like Ponda Baba to me. <laughs> that looks like a Mandalorian to me. To be more specific, this is a pre Vizsla figure, brand new figure. So it looks like somebody in the Amazon distribution center doesn't know the difference between Ponda Baba and um, old Paz, pre Vizsla here. Did I call him Pass? It's pre Vizsla. Sorry about that. But this is what I got. So I figured, you know what? Let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look at him. So there we go. Impromptu unboxing. Let's go ahead and take a look at pre Vizsla. Let's start out with the packaging here. Um, plastic packaging is back. That plastic free packaging is gone. Thank the Lord. So bad. Hated it. I know everybody else hated it. So happy to see this back. Uh, we've also got the side art there, and there's the back. You can go ahead and pause and read the bio if you'd like. And then, of course, we got our barcode, legalese, and ooh, more pa more plastic there. So yes, it is back. Let me get this guy cracked open. We'll take a real quick closer look at him. Okay, this is kind of what I expected. And um, shame on you, Hasbro, once again, for using a body this old. This is terrible that this body was used for this figure. This is a pretty big figure from the Clone Wars. A lot of people want this figure. And for you to go and use a 2015 body like this, no bueno. I don't know why that decision was made because that head sculpt is phenomenal. It looks great. But this is a very, very old body with terrible articulation. And there's no reason that this body should have been used. Well, I mean, we... You know, you can already tell just by me moving them. I'm not going to go over articulation and all that. This is really just more of an overview. But um, the, why this body was used is beyond me. I'm guessing cost-cutting measures as usual, even though he's 25 bucks. Not for me. It's 14 bucks for me because he was supposed to be Bond to Baba. But, um, yeah, let's just take a Let's forget about the body for right now. <laughs> let's take a look at the head sculpt because that's really the best part. That head sculpt is absolutely phenomenal. Looks amazing. And um, I don't know if it's enough to actually save this figure to, to being, you know, decent. Because even as I'm showing you, his legs just curl in. And if you all know this body, they've had it for the Super Commando, um, the, the Django Fett. This figure does not stand. And he doesn't even stand with, with stands. So good luck with that. But the head sculpt does look good. Let's take a look at his accessories really quick. Uh, the helmet also looks absolutely phenomenal. As you can tell, these actually do move down too. So that's cool. But I think if you keep moving them down, they will break off. Well, maybe not. Yep. Okay. Maybe so. So that is kind of removable. So again, I, I question some of the decisions made on this figure. This is the whole reason I wasn't going to get it, but I figured... For 14 bucks, let's go ahead and take a look. I can always get Ponda Baba at a later date. Let's put his helmet on him, see what he looks like. I mean, the way figures look for Hasbro is never really a problem because they always look really cool. Look at that. That's that's pretty solid. So definitely, that, oh man, it's hard to know if you want to leave him with his helmet on or helmet off because he looks really cool both ways. So nothing wrong with that at all. The jetpack is also something really cool. Look at the the silvers, the reds, and I'll be, I, I can't believe this, but the rocket is removable too. So if you have an effect piece, you could definitely have this shooting. So that's good stuff there too. I'm actually really surprised this wasn't a deluxe figure. 
I really am. I guess they felt that, you know, since they're giving us the worst Mando body they could possibly come up with, they'll give, <laughs> they'll give us a break on the price. But yeah, the jetpack's really cool. That That's really, really cool. And then other accessories that we've seen before. We've got the Darksaber, of course, which you guys have seen. And then we've got his little tiny blasters. Two of those little tiny blasters. So there you go. Really um, kind of what I expected. Uh, there's not much you can do with this body, and, and it it's pretty obvious. So let me put them all together, come back, give you some final thoughts. All right. There you go. That's what he looks like all put together. Again, he comes with a lot of accessories. I, I still am very, very shocked that he was not a deluxe figure. He does look really cool. It's just why, why this body choice is really the biggest problem with him. But he does look cool. The Darksaber looks cool. The guns look cool. The helmet is phenomenal. And that jetpack, I mean, look at that thing. Let's try to get it a little more focused for you. That jetpack's phenomenal. So, I mean, there's a lot of good stuff with this, but it's all kind of killed by... The body choice that Hasbro decided to take a cost-cutting measure, no doubt, on this figure, which should have never happened. Um, yeah, you should have used the Death, the Death Watch Mando. You could have used one of the other Mandos. All you got to do is re, you know, re-sculpt the uh, the chest or something. But that was a bad, bad decision for this figure, which a lot of people want. So there it is. I mean, don't pay twenty-five. That's going to be my. Suggestion, this will be a sought-after figure, no doubt. I think this will probably be one that does sell out. I really haven't kept tabs on it on Amazon just because uh, I didn't have it pre-ordered. So, there you go. I'm happy with it because I paid 14 bucks. But again, if I was you, I wouldn't pay 25 which ends up being almost $27 uh, with tax. So, buyer beware. I'm going to give this guy a 6 out of 10. He had a better body. He'd have been a 9, 9, 9 and a half. But that body absolutely kills this figure. So there it is. Kind of a uh, impromptu unboxing, like I said before. Um, this is this is the problem with Black Series right now. The, the decisions that are being made. So what can you do? It's just toys. That's the way things go. Hope you guys enjoyed the impromptu video. If you did, please comment, like, subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. Later.